everybody. Um, it is Carla the Boba Lush, and I am just finishing up a pumping break, and I only have a couple minutes. So there's no wah, wah, wah in the back of this video, which is great. I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I find it really annoying. Um, and I'm sorry that my videos lately have been all during pumping breaks. I just don't have time. <laughs> I don't have enough time. So speaking of that, I wanted to um, apologize for not posting a vlog yesterday and I know your world does not revolve around me and you probably did not even notice and that is great because if you didn't notice you're not angry with me um, but if you did notice I apologize I woke up yesterday in such pain um, from falling down the stairs seriously such a baby I mean when I was pregnant my um, my pelvis was literally like pulling apart and that hurt don't get me wrong that hurt but like this is probably just as bad and i don't really have any like at least then everyone could see like the giant belly and so when i was waddling around and looking generally whiny you know they gave me a pass and now they're kind of like seriously you hurt yourself again um Yes, my clumsy butt fell down the stairs and I broke my clumsy butt. Awesome, eh? So, <laughs> so, um, I did not go to work yesterday. I called in sick. I couldn't sit down. I could not even fathom the idea of not only driving to work, but then sitting down for, I don't know, like 10 hours at a desk. Um, I was like crying at the thought of it. And I'm really not a whiner. <laughs> I'm really, well, I'm a whiner, but I'm not a crier. And um, so Chris was like, just stay home. So I did. And the great thing was is that my mom was there, obviously, to watch Hannah. Ah, I'm decent. And <laughs> um, so, you know, I got to spend time with Hannah and she was super happy to have like mom and grandma. And, um, because I didn't want to really be sitting down. I either wanted to be laying down or standing. I took the day to completely clean my craft room. And um, see, the thing was, is back in December, probably November, we bought all the hardwood floor for my craft room because we wanted to take out the carpet because it was a little like musty. It's down in a basement. It was just kind of gross. And um, we wanted to replace it with hardwood floors. So we bought the hardwood floors and then um, end of December, like after Christmas, but, um, before New Year's, I pulled everything out of my craft room and put it in the den. And then, um, it just kind of like sat there for a while because I don't know, uh, it just did. We didn't have time. So I finally found the time we got the hardwood floor installed. And then right about that time, Hannah started crawling. And like, once they are no longer stationary. <laughs> Babies are really, really tough. They take a lot of time and energy because she just gets into everything. And in my craft room, there are lots of dangerous things that she can get into. Brads and beads and bedazzles and glitter and all sorts of crap that I don't want her in. And I don't really want her messing with my scrap of paper because it's expensive. <laughs> so um, it's just, it was really hard for me to find time to move everything back into the craft room because Hannah's always underfoot. That's her job. She's a baby. It's her job, so I just had to wait. But this was a great opportunity because my mom was up here, so I could, um, I'd already kind of drug everything into the craft room beforehand, but I could put everything away. And Chris and I had put up the shelves in my closet um, before I'd hurt myself. And um, so I was able to organize all the bins and put everything away, and really, I think I need like, an hour and a half more in there putting on like the last finishing touches and I will have to give you guys a new craft room tour because it is awesome. So last night though I broke it in and I made, this is so bad, please do not judge me, I made the first scrapbook pages since Hannah's been born. Yes, I'm a scrapbooker, I have my own room and I have not made a scrapbook page in six months and it it's like killing me. I have all these pictures and I'm scared of like forgetting the journaling and the memories and stuff. But the great thing is, is that when I look at those pictures, it's still like <sighs> that I remember what I want to say. So 
I made two pages less. Well, I, I also yesterday what I did was while I was laying in bed with the laptop like on my stomach, I uploaded crap ton of pictures to Shutterfly and then sent them all to Walgreens to get picked to get printed. So I ran to Walgreens late last night and I picked up all the pictures and I organized them by like um, scrapbook page. So I have like 20 piles of pictures and um, some of those piles have been removed because I've made two pages. I made two pages last night and they were like, they're nice looking pages. I like them. And um, I have all the paper and embellishments and layout done for a third page. I just have to cut everything and glue it down. So, and think of a title. I, I, it's really hard for me to think of page titles because I want them to be like quirky and funny, but um, yeah, I'm just a perfectionist, so, so it takes a while. Anyway, but I was really, really excited because if I feel like I'm kind of getting back to that creative release and that is really, really important to me because it's, um, it's hard to find me time. Like I, I think all my videos lately have been talking about like finding the balance between mommy and Carla, you know? And, um, you know, I don't, I, I already have to be away from Hannah because I work. And so when I'm home, I just want to be with her. So when she goes to sleep at night, it's such a blessing really, <laughs> because, um, for those like two hours, maybe, I can scrapbook and I do not feel guilty at all. The only thing I feel guilty about is that the fact that I'm going to wake up in the morning and probably wish that I'd been sleeping for those two hours, but, um, you know, she's asleep, so I'm not like missing out on anything. And so I really just love those two hours for what they are because they just give me a chance to like kind of go back and reconnect with things that I, I love doing. So anyway, that's where I was yesterday. I'm really, I feel so bad about like not putting up a vlog, but I was so, I got so much done, you know, and I'm, <laughs> I kind of understand now why people have au pairs because, or nannies, because, um, it was really nice being able to like play with Hannah. And then like when she needed to eat a meal, I'd be like, Hey mom, I'm going to put this, you know, I'm going to microwave <laughs> her baby food and can you feed it to her? And mom would be like, oh, totally. So, and then I could like kind of run downstairs and get something done for 30 minutes and know that you know, Hannah's just eating and that's, it's okay if I miss out on her eating a meal. But when she's done and she wants to either nurse or she wants to play, I can come back up and play with her for a little bit. And we kind of tag teamed it. And uh, so it was really, really nice. So anyway, um, what I've been wanting to do is make a vlog about tips for uh, TTCers, those that have just got their like infertility diagnosis, kind of what the next steps are, because usually I get emails being like, I just diagnosed with PCOS. I watched your videos. They're really inspiring, but I don't know what to do. That kind of thing. And I want to have a video that just kind of gives them all the love and advice and hugs that they need. And it's a video that I've been thinking about for a really long time. And it's something that I want to be, I want it to be one of those vlogs that people access like six months from now people access it and it's like a good quality content video it's not just like me talking about random crap I did yesterday and you know even though I love Hannah it's not like her playing around in a jumpy house and no one's really going to care about that three months from now but like I want it to be a vlog that is just a quality content useful video then when people um email me they're like there's stories and they're in such a bad place. You know, usually your mind is just in such a bad place when you get that diagnosis. I want to be able to send them this video and it not seem insincere and be like brushing them off, but I, I want to be able to give them that attention. And the bad thing is that I get so many of those emails every week. Sometimes I just, I don't have the time to sit down and write them that like five page long email that they deserve. I feel that they deserve because I've been in that position and I know the type of like, hug that you want and you just want someone to tell you that it's going to be okay. So anyways, that's what I want to work on today. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I will get it uploaded tonight. Um, it's probably going to be just like a one take video, obviously me talking like this, but, um, that is kind of my goal for the day and I hope that I can do it. So thank you guys for being really, really patient with me and, uh, just know that even though I, t I took another day off yesterday and was lazy and I know I owe you a video. Um, I really did get a lot done and it, it was such a great day. So, um, I'm very, very happy. Yeah. 
Although I wish my butt felt better. It still hurts. <laughs> All right. I got to get going. Um, have a great day, guys.